ولا تجعل فينا ولا منا شقيا ولا محروما اللهم اهدنا لأحسن الأخلاق فإنه لا يهدي لأحسنها إلا أنت Dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam we've reached the last lesson or the last uh, short talk around the book Islamic Manners by Sheikh Abdul Fattah Abu Buddha Rahimahullah chapter 11 and it's the chapter around condolences so the Sheikh starts by mentioning the manner that when one breaks the news of someone's death it should be in the best and most compassionate manner possible. And a good example of this is the story of Umm Sulaim radiallahu anha. Umm Sulaim was the, the Prophet sallallahu maternal aunt in wet nursing. And she was the mother of Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anha, the great companion. And Umm Sulaim, when her husband's son passed away, and he was out of town, when he came back, she you know, took a shower, she um, cleansed herself, she put perfume, she put makeup on, she looked very beautiful. She made her husband a very beautiful meal, meal. They had a very nice night together. And then after that, she sat with him. And look at the strength of this woman in the, and the manner in which she broke the news to her husband. She sat with him and she said, what do you say of someone who borrowed something from someone else and he didn't return it back? And so he responded and said, that's not right, you know, that person has a right to the thing that belongs to him. And she said, and thus did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take back your son. So in a very beautiful manner, in the most compassion possible, and setting the scene so that he can take it in a good manner, because she knew that the love that he had for his son, it was, it was a great love, and so she didn't want to break the news in a fashion that wasn't befitting, especially for older people, if, they're, if someone in their family passes away, they may have heart problems, it may be a sudden shock to them. So someone really needs to think through how they're going to break this news. And that's what the Sheikh uh, mentions here. Number one, expressing condolences is the duty of a Muslim. And one of the duties of the Muslim mentioned in the hadith that the right of a Muslim upon another Muslim is six is that when someone passes away, he follows the janazah. Similarly, when someone passes away, even if one doesn't follow the janazah, they should express condolences. This is very important. And when they express condolences, they should choose words that are soothing to the family member that passed away. So they should remind them of the patience. The Prophet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتُمْ وَبَشِّرْ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَجِعُونَ And give glad tidings to those who are patient. The ones who when they are afflicted with a calamity, they say to Allah we belong, and to Him we will return. And the hadith of Umm Sulaim that we just mentioned really explains this phrase, to Allah we belong and to Him we return. That we are all the property of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That he has a right towards us, and so when you when you when you're explaining this to the to the family member, they realize that nothing that we have belongs to them. Mentioning verses of paradise, mention that death awaits all of us. Make dua for them. All these kind of things. Uh, advise them for patience. You know, don't don't say things like you hear this a lot, but things like, for instance, uh, you know, uh, he was a good person. Why did why did Eliza take his or her life so young? or he, wasn't, he didn't deserve this, or she didn't deserve this. Because these statements implicitly are questioning the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're questioning the decree of Allah. But rather, someone should advise for patience, advise one of uh, you know, the verses that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, and so on and so forth. There's many verses in the Qur'an. Ya ayyatuhu al nafsu mutma'inna, that's the one that's always quoted. Oh, oh soul that, isn't, uh, that feels comfortable and tranquil, return to your Lord. Uh, you being pleased with Allah and Allah being pleased with you, so on and so forth, the verses in Surah Al-Fajr. Uh, so that's one thing. And the last things that he mentioned, we're not going to talk about the fiqh of following the janazah because that's not a khatr after fiqh. But what we will say is um, during the condolence, if you're offering condolences, you know sometimes the Qur'an is played on the loudspeaker. What the Shaykh mentions here, the Shaykh is Hanafi by the way, so he follows the Hanafi Madhab, he's from Syria, Syria most of them follow the Hanafi Madhab. And the Hanafi opinion is that, it's, it's, don't play the Qur'an out loud, but the Qur'an reaches the soul of the dead person. There's a difference of opinion on this. We'll share the Shaykh's opinion out of respect for him. There's other opinions that say actually no, that's not true, but dua reaches them. So either way, during the condolence session, Instead of spending the whole time talking about mundane issues like usually happens in the condolences, you know, a person should either read Qur'an if they follow this opinion, if not, uh, 
they should make du'a. And it's okay to make group du'a. For instance, some one person makes du'a and the rest say amin, because we know for sure that the du'a will reach them. There's no difference of opinion on this. And this is what the, he closes with. He mentions things like, you know, bringing flowers to the funeral and putting on top of the gravestone, tombstone, that this has no basis, so someone should avoid it. And this is the end of the manner series. We ask Allah to accept from us. We ask Allah to allow us to implement the, the words in this book. Uh, may Allah reward the youth committee. They've recorded the entire series, and it's available at pgmalegacy.com. Right? If you click on Islamic Manner series on the top on pgmalegacy.com, you can review all of the you can review all of the series, all of the talks we had. And tomorrow, alhamdulillah, the books arrived. I ordered a few books. We'll have like a short quiz, and whoever answers, inshallah, will get the books. Subhanakallahumma, alhamdulillah,